hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's busy atkins here as always and i'm back with another bang so today is another gilly tutorial video so go and get your gilly your material your ankara your cane tea whatever it is go get it and let's get started so today i'm using this lovely soft material i got myself a very like a hard paper I put it in the middle and I folded it in with the material. Also, it's giving that hard look in front. And then I turned around and I just got to the back and I tied it to secure the headscarf. You can call this scarf, you can call it gilly, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the comment down below what you guys call it in your country. In Nigeria, we'll call it gilly. Anything is gilly. But this particular style, I know it's called Zara cap. And I think this originated from the houses. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I am also just learning. So I tied it and then I did. The second hand to be like folded in. So I can have that little like rose design like waterfall design behind me i got the other hand and i just twisted it turned it around this is me trying to figure out what side it goes should it go on the other side or should it come from this side and i decided ah we'll stay here so i just twisted it twisted it and and that was it and i got my pin and i secured it into place and that is it guys literally that's that's all that's literally it this is uh, this i can say this is one of the easiest gilly um, styles to tie on yourself on anyone in your family your friend or your mom like this was one one of the easiest to tie i do hope to see your videos pictures and do not forget to tag myself in your videos and i'll be watching and reposting them thank you guys for watching do not forget to like comment share and subscribe Hit that notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I, Lisa Atkins, upload new content. And now remain blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. And also, do not forget me to follow me on my socials. Do not forget to follow me on my socials at Lizzie Atkins everywhere: Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube at Lizzie Atkins. See you in my next video. Take care. So today is another gilly tutorial video so let's get into this for this particular tutorial i have to put my hair in a donut else i'm gonna get caught up and i'm going to pin my hair with the gilly so i got my i put my hair in a bun and then put elastic over it not too tight and then i got the material and here is it i folded it into two it was just the normal material i don't know again i don't know what this material is called it's just it was just a material a brown a nice brown thick material i put it over my head and then i just hold each end sorry the camera is not showing what i'm doing <laughs> under there i don't know why but all i did was put the gear um, material on my head from behind and then i grabbed the both ends so I was trying to figure out which was the end and then I just flicked them over each other and then put it put my head up as you can see in the video and I just came around and got the material trying to straighten it all out because you can see there's too many pleats there's too many pleats out here so <laughs> I got that and then I got the end I had to really really tighten it to know if that's where I want it to be. So I got my pin and then I pinned it down. 
then I got the other hand and I repeated the same step. This is another way to tie a turban gilly using a material. So if you know, if this is something that you want to try, please do go ahead and share your videos, share your pictures with me on the socials at Lizzie Atkins on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. So now guys literally just the rest of the video it's repeating the same step and pinning using the pin to secure it because you want your your gilly to be secured secure the bag just secure it and then yep that was it guys i'm gonna leave you to watch the rest of the video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can always get a notification every time i lizzie atkins upload new content now remain blessed and i'll see you in my next video and again do not forget to follow me on all social media platform instagram facebook snapchat tiktok at lizzie atkins see you in my next video stay blessed bye keep watching not bye Keep watching. Keep watching. So for this particular video, you do need like paper. Um, in this video, I used a leaflet and a half to into two. And then I'm using like a material. I don't know what the material is called. 
So I put that and then I folded the gilly, I folded the paper into the material. That's kind of what's giving it the hard shape onto my forehead. And then I divided this material into 50-50. So this was a 50-50 measurement. Put it on my head and I tied it just like from the beginning of my forehead to the back. And I tied it, it round, secured it, make sure it was secured came around adjusted it for a little while and then make sure it was sitting well as you can see it's I'm like having to tuck it in so that way that was what the paper was giving was giving that lift that hard look and then I just grabbed the one side of the uh, material and I was just folding them so kind of like trying to get plates so as you can see I was trying to find the um middle part of the material so trying to make sure the edges that were cut out wasn't what i was aiming for wasn't going to end up like right in front of the ghillie so i just grabbed the material and i was just pleating them as you can see just put them together so pleating them in the sense where i was folding them up and i just brought it right across onto my um onto the front of the material I was trying to make sure I can get the pleats and follow so the pleats follows all the way and after doing that just using my hand to knit it up I still I still come back to knit up the front I was trying to see if I can make sure it's there before pinning it right so I did that and Yeah, it wasn't working. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Let's try this again. Retry, restart. So again, as you can see, I was doing it until I got exactly what I wanted. So hey, no rush. This is a very simple, easy style. I've been seeing a lot on, um, like a lot more on the house women on Instagram. They can use your normal gilia kit to tie this. You can use material and you can use other ones that i'm not too sure what the names are but if you do know the names you can leave it down in the comments and i'm sure others would love to know what the name is called so i got my pin at this point i was like you know what i'm just gonna pin it down and then come back and sort the pleating out which is what i did so i did that and there you go you can see me trying to make sure i got all my pleats and the pleats are showing fine and then i got the remaining part of the material and i just wrapped it around to the back to give like a donut shape at the back just to tuck it away because i was I would, if i bring it to the front which you can by the way you can bring it to the front just like i did that side the one side but this time around i decided just to tuck it away i didn't really want it too full or too thick I didn't want that big looking, you know, style. So I tucked it away. Tucked it away and got myself another pin and pinned the beginning, the one I brought in front and the tucking away and I pinned it together. And once I did that, I came back to the front and adjusted the pleats even more. As you can see. Yeah, I just played around you literally just play around see what you can achieve see what looks what look you want you know like yeah fiddle around with it you know as long as you've pinned it and secured it fiddle around with it you know see what you like see what you want to achieve by the way this this doesn't always have to be plates you can make it straight you can make it twisted i'm gonna do a video on different ones on how to achieve different looks you can make it twist you can make it straight you can make it pleated for today's tutorial i want to pleat it yep oops i pinned my hair with the material <laughs> but thank god i already secured it too far so everything else didn't fall off so i just pinned that right back again i is accidentally not incident accidentally pinned my hair with the material but yeah I was just putting it down and I thought, you know what? I like the way it looks now and I was happy with this look and that was it. So that's the end of today's tutorial video. Do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you can always get a notification every time i lizzie atkins upload new content for now remain blessed enjoy the rest of the other gilly tutorial videos that i've put in the playlist together and i'll see you in my next video take care I am a star, and won't kill my shine. I wanna know.